yesterday, that's for sure. Most of us have heard of therapy dogs that visit hospitals or schools. Lindsay Thies is live in Glenwood, Iowa today to tell us about a new type of therapy dog. Lindsay. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. Well, I am here and I have two very special guests. I got Jackson. He's a six-year-old who's helping me with his pup, part of the family dog here at Les Hills Funeral Home. And this is Hayes. He's a very special dog because he is the first certified grief therapy dog in the state of Iowa. Whether empty or full, a visitation room at a funeral home is quiet, still, and usually full of sadness. But Les Hills Funeral Home is bringing in a new hire to help through the rough time. And who knows better about rough than Hayes. Just 12 weeks old, he's the runt of his litter. The idea came to his funeral director, owner Scott Erickson, after a conference and seeing therapy dogs at hospice care facilities. Bring that into a funeral home where people are grieving to help make it a better time for them, especially even sometimes kids that might be struggling. We have a lot of families that don't really have family. Um, and sometimes they just need somebody, whether it be us, you know, a friend, or in this case, even a dog. And back out here live. So, you know, you might be seeing a Bernese mountain dog like this at 12 weeks old and going, oh my gosh, he's going to get so big. What about all that fur? Well, the Ericsons tell me he has a standing appointment with the groomer, goes every two weeks, and they do a lot of vacuuming here because they are thinking about people who might be coming and might be allergic, but so far it hasn't been an issue. Just a whole lot of love. Craig, we're live in Glenwood. Going to send it back to you. Uh, you're a natural there, Lindsay. Thanks. This is the busiest shipping day of the year for companies like UPS, the Postal Service, 